All right, and we are back. So it's been 12 to 24 hours that our grains have been soaking. And now I'm just gonna bring them to the stove and get it to a gentle boil. Once it reaches a boil, I'm gonna shut my heat off and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes just to assure the grains absorb as much water as they can before going into the pressure cooker. So once uh, that's done, we're gonna be draining the excess water and letting the steam uh, from the heat dry off our grains. Okay, so my uh, grains are done uh, boiling and I've let them simmer for a bit. So now it's going to be time to uh, drain the water off and let them dry. So I've got uh, two colanders over here and I'm just going to dump it in there. Now there's some steam and the steam is going to dry off my grains. And every five to ten minutes I'll probably come out here and give this kind of like a, just a little shake right here. I guess, oh, it's hot. And uh, just make sure everything gets hit by the steam so it can dry off properly. All right, so now that our uh, grains are done drying, we're gonna do a test to see if they're ready to pressure cook because we wanna know if they have the right amount of moisture. So the goal with this is we wanted them to have kind of like uh, water absorbed, but we don't want them to be like wet on the outside. So we're gonna do a paper towel test for this. So you wanna grab a, just a paper towel and then you wanna grab a, just a handful, put it on the paper towel and you wanna leave it there for about 15 seconds. And once you remove those grains, if it doesn't leave any wet spots, you are good to go and you can pressure cook. So it's been 15 seconds. I'm just gonna remove them. And yeah, as you can tell, it's still, uh, it's, it's good. It's not wet at all. So we're gonna go ahead and jar these. All right guys, so I just bought these jars. So as you can tell, there's no filters on the lids. So what I'm gonna do is fill these guys up about three quarters of the way. And then I'm going to be uh, making uh, the filtered lids just like I made my uh, previous video. Okay, so filters are made. And uh, I filled up the jars three quarters of the way. And they are ready to pressure cook. So the final step to get them ready uh, is going to be to grab some uh, aluminum foil and we're going to grab the tops. Just like so. Just grab, just grab a couple sheets, turn them into like squares. Wrap it. Just make sure it's like nice and sealed, it's just so water doesn't get in from the pressure cooker from the steam. And so you want to repeat that process for all the jars. So it's time to pressure cook. I wanted to show the water level I like to use. So first of all, what you're going to be doing is filling the entire um, pressure cooker with the jars. I left one spot just so I can show uh, the water level over here. So you want to, you're going to want to get it about a quarter of the way from the jars. So right about there. And the reason I add all my jars first is because obviously the weight is gonna make the water level rise. So it gives you a, a more accurate uh, water reading. So this is what it should look like before you get it going. So I'm turning my stove onto high heat and I'm gonna remove the pressure um, just until it starts to steam and steam starts to come off. Once it does, I will put it back on and I'm going to let the pressure reach 15 PSI. And then once it reaches 15 PSI, I'm going to most likely lower the temperature of my stove to medium so it stays at that heat. And I'm going to start my timer for an hour and 30 minutes or an hour and 40 minutes. Thank you for watching. If you guys like the content, definitely leave a like. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below. I apologize for the quality of this audio. Um, I'm changing the method to do voiceovers, so I'll catch you guys in the next one.